Hey, good evening, folks. This is Team Cat 5J. What hope everyone's doing okay out there this weekend. Today's video, I want to go over programming a 10 meter repeater. And the one I've picked out is one in New York. It's actually located in the Catskill Mountains. It's Kilo Quebec 2 Hotel. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go over a couple of things on the radio, kind of a quick review of how to program repeaters, but I want to show you a couple of things too. So the first thing we'll do is uh, I've got the radio in memory mode right now and I've also got my VFO locked so that I don't accidentally change the frequency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to VFO mode and I'm going to press the VM button once. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the mode and I'm going to click FM then I'm going to go to band and I'm going to press enter and I'm going to enter 0296200000 and I'm going to press enter alright there's already some activity going on on that repeater but we can't quite access it yet because we don't have our radio set up so what we'll do next and I'll show you this little tip real quick you might be asking well how does the radio know to go uh, you know 100 kilohertz down which is what typically what the protocol is it's it's uh, 100 kilohertz negative shift so how does the radio know so I'm going to show you this good question uh, you go to menu and what you do is you go right here to this setting here number 81 uh, sorry it's going to be there it is right there Oh, there it is, 28 megahertz. It's setting number 80. By default, remember when you see the blue line around the box, that means it's highlighted. Is As long as the setting is in dark blue, like you see the 100 kilohertz, that's the default. But if you wanted to change that, you could. But we're going to leave it at 100 kilohertz, because that is the default. So that's, and also you can look too, this is how you know where the other, the other uh, frequencies, for example, your uh, 50 megahertz, your your uh, six meter is a 50. I guess let's see what's the default there for six meter. I've got it set to 500. What's the default? Let's see if we can find it. Whatever it is, it'll turn dark blue, purple. Whenever we find it, no, we don't. I don't even see it there. I was kind of got off, got off course here. There, oh, there it is, 1,000. All right, so for, I kind of got off, got off course there. For six meter, the repeater shift is one, not one, 1,000 kilohertz or one megahertz. But let's go back. For the 28 megahertz, the repeater shift is going to be 100 kilohertz. All right, that's going to be a negative shift also. All right, so that's how the radio knows which way to go when you do the repeater setup. All right, so what we'll do next is we will go to our FM list. And the first thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to set up our repeater. Is it a negative, positive, or is it simplex? So what we'll do is we we'll use the right and left arrow keys. And I'm going to locate the setting called RPT right there. So you see RPT is in simplex right now. So this repeater is a negative shift. So what I have to do is I have to tap this once. It's positive. See it says positive up there. I'm going to press it again. Now it says negative. And that's where we want that. The tone, we want to go ahead and turn the tone on. And the tone is going to be encode only, which means it only needs an uplink tone. And I looked this up on repeater.com, and it looks like the downlink is carrier squelch, which means it doesn't, you don't need a tone or a uh, setting on your radio to hear it. You can hear it in normal uh, uncoded squelch, is I think what that means. But we do need to send a tone to the repeater to access it. So what we'll do next is we have to set that tone and we're going to go over here to tone which is right here and we're going to tap it and we're going to enter 146.2. 
All right, there it is there. Now we're good to go. So let's check our settings. Repeater, we're negative shift. We're on encode only, which means we're only sending an uplink tone to access the repeater. We don't need to have a setting in our radio to hear the repeater. We can hear it in open squelch. And the last setting is 146.2. So all that looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save this to a memory location. I'm going to clear the screen here. Now to save it to a memory location, I'm going to press the AM button once. Now it brings up the memory list. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to scroll down to my next available memory slot, which is number 31. And what's going to happen is you're going to see 31 in the blue circle right there. When that happens is when I press that AM button and hold it for about five seconds, you're going to hear the radio beep twice. It's going to send that frequency into that location. So let's go back and bring that up again. Again, to get there, you press and hold the FM list. If you press it quickly, you'll bring up the functions. If you press and hold it, you'll bring up the M list. So that's what that's the difference there when you see those. All right, there's number 31. Now we're going to press and hold the AM button. Let's see if something. Sometimes when it does this, go back and do this again, and it'll work. I've had this stall before. That's kind of strange. Let's do this. We're going to press it once. Oh, you may have to do it consecutively. All right, there's number 31. So we hold it again. There it is. So you have to kind of do those steps quickly. I, I was waiting too long. So press and hold the EM button and then dial in the proper uh, open available memory location and then go ahead and press and hold it for two seconds and you'll hear it beep. So uh, that's something I, I kind of remember that now. All right, so now we have this in a memory location. So let's go to VFO and there it is right there. Now one thing I want to show you is I'm going to go back to the VFO and I'm going to clear these settings because if I go to use VFO and if I forget these settings I might be trying to make a simplex call and if, if I'm not paying attention here I might be you know sending things in, in the wrong frequency. I'm, so I'm going to clear these back to default and I'm going to go ahead and turn off the repeater return it to simplex and I'm going to turn to decode off. All right, so now, now this is all clear. So now I can go through the, you know, let me unlock the VFO. Now I can go through and do anything I want to here. But let's go to our program repeater channel. And there it is right there. Now when some gets stuck in the tire and it goes. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. Hey, good evening. I've got uh, Kilo 2 IO US. This is Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. Yeah, copy, Jerry. This is Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Fox right here. You've got Steve here in Abilene, Texas. Well, we made it into the repeater, but we've got high SWR, and I don't like that. So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. I don't know why. Why that's doing that? Good evening. This 
This is K Q two H repeater. Kilo India five Juliet uniform Foxtrot. Yeah, copy that. I'm located in Abilene, Texas. I've got you. Uh, thanks again for taking the call. I'll say 73 and let someone else have it. Uh, I think I've got you Kilo 2 India something if you can come back. guys I've also I'm going to show you the SWRs on this meter here I've got a problem I'm just going to demonstrate it real quick but you're going to notice this needle is going to go pretty high this one's not going to go so high because of the the, the, the reflective power and where those needles are going to come they're going to cross right here at about two which is about what the radio is showing kilo India 5 clear and that's not good that's not good but the reason I'm doing this is I want to show you you saw high SWRs coming in on the radio and you see them here so this this could be a problem now we'll tell you it's extremely windy outside today so that may be what's going on here so um, anyway at this point I'm not going to transmit any more uh, I'm surprised uh, yeah anyway I just want to show you this high SWRs both in on the radio and on the transmission feed line so that's kinda a bad thing but hey you know what that's that's ham radio you, things happen and uh, I'll report back but it could be wind we do have like I said we do have a lot of wind 73 hope you enjoy the video and uh, thanks again for watching and uh, appreciate it well this is what we got going on wind wise out here today while making this video and I wanted to show you what the uh, the 10 meter antenna is doing it's taking a pretty good beating there we've got some pretty good winds coming up It'll be interesting to see uh, when the winds die down if my SWRs go back to normal. But uh, you can see there, it's, it's been, it's taken a pretty good beating today. So anyway, that's the 10 meter right there. That's the antenna uh, right there. You can see it's uh, taken a pretty good beating from the west. So it'll be an inter interesting to see when the winds die down if the SWRs come back down. It'll be kind of kind of interesting. But anyway. That was the wind, wind condition during the uh, testing with the high SWR today. There it is again right there, just another view. It's, it's taking a pretty good beating. You can see the bend in that thing. It's taking a, it's taking a pretty good beating for sure. So anyway, that's what's going on wind.